Here is the radius and the ulna, and we'll first start with how to differentiate the two bones. The radius has this disc-shaped head at the proximal portion, and then the ulna has a C-shape at the proximal portion. So if you see the C-shape ulna, this disc-shaped head, radius. Let's start with with the radius anatomy. So here is the head of the radius. Right below it is the neck. This bump or elevation of bone right below the neck is the radial tuberosity. If we go down to the distal end of the radius, this pointy projection is the styloid process. And then, if I can get this to stand, we have the ulnar notch of the radius. And this is where it's going to articulate with the ulna. For the ulna, so first we'll start with the top of the C. This is the olecranon process, which is going to go right into that olecranon fossa on the posterior aspect of the radius. And then we have the coronoid process, which is going to fit into that coronoid fossa on the anterior part of the humerus. And then we have, in the, the we'll call it the body of the C inside of here, this is the trochlear notch. We have the radial notch of the ulna, and that's just where the radius is going to articulate with the ulna. This bottom part of the ulna is the head, so know that the head is actually at the distal portion of the ulna. And then this pointy projection is the styloid process of the ulna.